All right, again, viewers, welcome to the Unbiased Show. And tonight, we're going to talk about Manchester United and the game they just played against a German side, Red Bull. It was a disaster. What a garbage. No playing, no kidding, no joking. Joining us tonight is Curla, the general. Curla Kid, and he's here with us. And Curla, we're looking at this game, bro. What do you think mm-hmm. about it, man? The first thing I want to say, right? There's this guy in England called Simon Jordan. Simon Jordan. Probably many people don't know him. Probably have to research him. Came on the show called Talk Sport. He said the other day that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is not fit enough for the job. He used some other word I can't remember. But he said that there is nowhere, there is no way Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to catch Pep or he's going to catch Klopp. Right? And if he's not going to catch those two managers, why is he at the biggest club in the world? He is the biggest club in the world, bro. Yes. Two. He says that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer keep on saying it is a long-term project. It is going to be a long-term project with Ole. If you get what I'm trying to say. It is going to be a long-term project with Ole. Bobby, I have a funny feeling that they're going to sack the Arsenal manager. And I have a funny feeling they're going to sack Zidane. There goes Poch. And that's it for Manchester United. We're going to sack Ole tonight, bro. Hmm? What's the point? We're going to sack Ole tonight. Ole is clueless. You know what? That's what it is me. Hold on. Take for instance tonight's game, right? Uh Uh-huh. For the first half an hour, we were 2 nil down with six defenders on the field and we need three goals, right? First off, Luke Shaw hasn't played in a while. He took Teles oh, off. Don't, don't even go there. Oh, man. How is it? Jesus. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hold on. Hear the worst thing about it, Garvey. Ten minutes later, he took Luke Shaw off. Hey, now listen. I was looking at the same thing. <laughs> well, listen. First thing first. First thing first, bro. He started Luke Shaw. Mm-hmm. Luke Shaw is coming from an injury. He hasn't played any game. Potentially, they were the biggest game of the season. One of the most mm-hmm. decisive game of the season. What he did? He put Luke Shaw out there. At halftime, bro, he pulled Tellers. And five, ten minutes later, he pulled Luke Shaw to put on, what's his name? To put on, what's his name? Brandon Williams. Williams. Bro. Wait, who's a right footer playing at left back? When one Basaka is probably having his worst game he has ever played for Manchester United. Yo, when I saw Wait, that, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Bobby. No, man. Let me give you the best one. Let me give you the best one. Our best player tonight was Nimaya Matic. You see what he did? Take off Matic and leave McTominay on. To do what? Listen, bro. All the wrong decisions as it relates to substitutions were made. The personnel who came on, the, the Pogba, first thing, I thought Pogba would have been on before even after, honestly. I thought he was going to be on before after, right? He was warming up from, he was warming up from 30 minutes. Huh? He was warming up from 30 minutes. Exactly. And when I saw the change, when I saw the, 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 the assistant referee, the referee, the fourth official, holding up mm-hmm. the, the card, right? I thought yeah. he was going to take off one of the midfielders. I, no, listen. I thought he was going to take off Shaw. This was my thinking. Shaw mm-hmm. is unfit. He's just coming back from injury. I thought they were going to take off Shaw, leave Telezan, right? Go back to mm-hmm. the four at the back and put Pogba on the field. Now, when I saw Van der Beek, I'm like, nice. Guess what's going to happen now? Telez is going to go back. He's going to pull either Mark Tonomi or, or Matic, put Pogba mm-hmm. in along with Van der Beek. And I'm like, that would be nice. When I looked at Sasha on the field, and I'm like, no way. 
He's just coming back from injury. And bro, 10 minutes later, you take shot off. Seriously. Because he was tired. And you have Telles, who probably defensively, he's not the best player. But going at attack, when we need yep. a goal, our best, our best attacking wing back, the best attacking wing back we have, the best attacking wing back of all the wing back, Brandon Williams, Fansu Mensa, Juan Basaka, Lucia, he's the best attacking wing back we have. We took him off and we leave an unfit shot on. Now tell me, why should to we take off 10 minutes later? What, what? Bro, leave an unfit shot on. Why, 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 why should we keep that? That um, What's his name, Ole? Coach. He's stupid. Beyond stupid. Beyond stupid. No, no Gavi. Wait, Gavi. Let me say this to you first. We only need a point. We only need a point. Tonight, we should just go with one striker. Rashford. Listen, I could tell that we're going to concede a goal. Because from season start, I doubt we keep one clean sheet. Apart from against West Brom. Right? We know they're going to score. What we need to do is to protect that back four better. So if you want to play four, seven, nine, do that. Yeah? That formation, you cannot go. Listen, that team drew with Bayern Munich over the weekend. At Bayern Munich. What you think? You're going to go to Leipzig and, and beat Leipzig? PSG was better than us. And PSG went there and lost. No, but Carla, <laughs> Go on. You know the crazy thing, bro? Look at it. I was more... I was really, really afraid of the PSG game. Honestly. I was super scared of the PSG game. You know why? We were playing mm -hmm. at home. First game we had with... Um, Crystal Lind Palace? Lindelof. No, man. With Lindelof okay. and, and mm -hmm. Fansu Mensa. No, it's not Fansu Mensa. Twan Zebe. Yeah. We had, they had a blinder. Right? And what I noticed... What I noticed... When they came... The first thing they did... They hid... Mbappe won a quote and quote of the best player in the world. They hit Mbappe from one Basaka. They hit mm -hmm. Neymar from one Basaka because guess what? Neymar pulled to the center of the park and Mbappe went to the right side to play against yep. to play against the yep. But that is not the worst thing, bro. How did we lose to that side from Turkey in Turkey? When we won three um, we, we beat PSG, we beat this side our red yep. ball. Right, and then we went and we lost that. You see, once we lost to that side, I'm like, you know what? It's done. Once I knew something like this would happen, I was surprised how they started, but I knew something like this would happen eventually. I knew it. And bro, we started the game with the entire left side, with the entire left side packed, right. The entire mm -hmm. left side, where, where I'm going, the entire left side, bro, packed. Teles, Shaw, um, Maguire, Lindelof, and guess where you find Juan Basaka? In the middle of the park. One big switch. They did that like four or five times in the first ten minutes. Gavi, listen, it's not the first. It's not the first. Most of the goals that we can't see in is from Juan Basaka's side because he's not marking the back post. And I hear a commentator saying, why is Ole keep on playing zonal marking? Mark the player. He's dumb, bro. He's dumb. He's stupid. No. If I'm being rude, I'm sorry, but he's stupid. Garvey, listen. You're not, you're not, you're being honest, man. This is what I'm trying to say to you. Are we going to still keep him? That's what I can't understand. No, what, what's We're going to still keep him. Give him time. Give him time to do what? Give him time to do what, Garvey? No, what is he doing? Oh, the English team. All the English team, the first English team to win the, the first two games and the first English team to be out of the Champions League. No, the only English team that is going to be out of the Champions League. True. City has gone through, Chelsea. Everyone gone through. Liverpool. Everyone gone through from, from last week. And we are yeah. the only English team. And, and, and we are the only English team. The one else. Listen, listen. Bro. Mm -hmm. It was, when was it? A couple of days ago, probably about two days ago, I had mm -hmm. three coaches here with me. Mm -hmm. I had Mr. Reynolds, mm -hmm. I had Coach Burton and Coach Wittick with me. 
Mm -hmm. We have a wonderful conversation about football, coaching schoolboy football. And trust me, I would not employ Holly to coach my football school football side. <laughs> because, bro, and I'm I'm so serious, it's not funny. Listen, he's making schoolboy mistakes as a coach. And I'm not talking about a schoolboy coach. I'm talking about schoolboy mistakes. Remember days gone by when you were in, probably in, in PE class and would have a mm -hmm. player outside telling us what to do? That's Oli. And he's not a PE coach. He's not a PE teacher. He's one of them players, one of the schoolboys telling us what to do. When you had the older mm -hmm. boys up there, like probably when you're in like in second or third form and the boys were in fifth or fourth form telling us, hey, you do that, you do that. Mm -hmm. That's Oli. Man, he's stupid, bro. Grab is beyond stupid, man. They call him the PE teacher over here. This is, what, this is what I can't understand. Yeah? He's learning on the job. How can you be learning on the job at Manchester United? Learning on the job at Manchester United. Garvey, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed, man. <laughs> I'm lost. And you know what is going to happen? What is going to happen? You're going to say that it was Riola who came and he said whatever about Pogba. But the funny thing about Pogba, Pogba came on and Pogba looked hungry. Wonderful. Pogba Wonderful. He wanted to play. He wanted to prove a point when he came exactly. on. Exactly. He wanted to exactly. prove a point when he came on. But listen, there is no way. And I and listen, you're going to say that, hey, Pogba was distracted, whatever, whatever, bro. There is no way you have your best players sitting on a bench when you need him. And you have average players, average players, really average players playing. He, his best game, well, his best half of football was the last game he played. Look, mm -hmm. he was the one who actually... Maguire, whoever will get the goal. But guess what? It was his determination. Real determination. Remember, we were 3-0 down, bro. 3-0. Yes. It was his real determination, right? Why we got the second goal. Why we got the second goal? Not just that. The last, the last, the last... When he went down the wing and squared the ball and almost got an own goal. Who? You probably missed that one. Which one? Pogba. He went down the wing, yeah. squared the ball. In the last probably two minutes before in extra time when, when we, we added on time before the game finished. Yeah. Bro, now let me ask you. Uh, let me ask you one question, now, Garvey. Right? Tell me one good thing Scott McTomady done tonight. Right, let me think. Just one. I'm just asking for one. Only job Pogba says tactical. What tactics? What Ole knows about tactics? Right. I'm going to tell you something. Carol, I'm Please, go on. As I said, we had a couple of coaches here the other night, right? Mm -hmm. I had a coach. I remember we were playing a practice game at Mannings. When we were playing the Costa Cup at Mannings, right? Mm hmm. And I was on the field, I was not playing well. The coach just said, hey, come here, come off. It's best I play with 10, man. I never forget that. <laughs> right? It was a practice game, so he could do it in a practice game. Tonight, mm -hmm. all I could have done that with Scott McTonnery. Take him off the field. They call him out. Mac Sauce, Mac Slice, Mac Dice, Mac whatever, man. They should have taken him off the field. He's no good, bro. He's not... Listen... When you have quality, listen, I'm looking at Manchester United team and I see quality yeah. players there. I see quality players there. If you can get the best out of the players. No, I think that the best midfield we have is a Fred, a Pogba and a Bruno. No, for whatever reason, you're not playing Pogba. Mm -hmm. Fred, the other night, was playing. He got a yellow card. Right? In a game that mm -hmm. he needed only a point. Remember, Mm -hmm. Only point you needed from that game. What what you mm -hmm. did? You left him on. Fine. He got red carded. Listen to drama now. Listen how stupid this guy is. I'm listening, man. I'm listening. The next game that we had against, we won it. Who was it? Yeah. Who was it? Southampton. It wasn't Southampton. Who played last night? Oh no. Wesam. 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 Right. Yeah. Fred did not make the squad. Remember, he's not playing tonight. We are resting mm -hmm. players because, guess what? We are resting players because we, we there's a big game coming up. So we are resting players. Fred was not there. He was not in the squad. Remember, he can't play in the Champions League. Mm -hmm. a red card. But we rested Fred. And it, why did we rest Fred? All right? No. Cut this. 
Now, we have a game where what we needed, a draw. Point. Right? Mm -hmm. You know what this side did? The first thing they did, they realized that, guess what? How many ball handlers we have on the field? Not many. If you pressure Bruno, you will give mm -hmm. away the ball. If you pressure, well, McTellamy is not really a footballer anyway. Right? Mm -hmm. um, you pressure these players, you pressure the back players, they will give away the football. What they did, they came and they hustled us. I remember mm -hmm. Rashford getting the ball, boom, they kicked him. They are hustling us. Right? And they got, okay. the, and they got that early goal. They got that early goal and they were still hustling us. What, what did we do? Play slow from the play slow from the back. Come on, and then Seriously, we Garvey, and a night, wait, Garvey, and a night like tonight. You tell me what's wrong with, say, Basaka, um, Maguire, Lindelof, and Tellez. Luke Shaw is just coming back, right? What's wrong with Paul Pogba, Matic, Van der Beek, right? You tell me what's wrong with that, Bruno Fernandez. And any other two. Tell me what's wrong with that. Ask other bro. Listen, Listen, we need like you said, Garvey, we need players who can control the ball. Matic, if he's playing with Pogba and Bruno Fernandez, it's a guarantee you that we're not going to lose the ball. Guarantee you we're not going to lose the ball. True Curla, because now I was watching Matic tonight. And trust me. He was in the middle of the park playing extremely well, keeping control of the football. He was not giving away the football. Mm -hmm. Scotty Mark saw, Scotty Scotland did numerous times. And he was not doing anything. Oh, he did, not one, a single he did thing. one good thing, man. He did one good thing. I'm not gonna lie, bro. He, he made a run through, he ran through, and they fall. Yes, and he get a foul. Yeah. The only thing. And him kicking down. That's the only that's the only thing. The thing the only no, but me, let, let me ask you something. If you're a midfielder, that's what you're supposed to do, and that is what Pogba does. So why can't he play Pogba? You see this. You see the uptick in quality. It's it's not an accident. Why when Pogba came on the field, we scored. Is that mm -hmm. why when Pogba came on the field, we had more chances. When Pogba and Van der Beek came on the field, what happened? We had better players. So we're playing exactly. much. We're far more creative. Even even though in the second half when we started, we started to attack more, right? Mm -hmm. We were we, but we were not creative. But bro, listen, man, listen. You see all the good teams. All the good teams, they go out and they play good attacking football. They go to dominate a team. Our Manchester United, bro. Listen, man. Every team dominates us, Garvey. You want to know why? And listen, this is this is what I can't understand, right? When we go away to play other teams, we allow them to be all over all over us. And when they come to Old Trafford, oh my days, we slow. We're lazy, we don't tackle, we don't close down, we don't do nothing. But that's what they did to but, us just now. We could not get out. We just could not get out. Because Garvey, we can't play football. We don't have a coach to teach us how to play football. Here's the next thing. Having Poch, having Poch there, just the fear that they know that Poch is a good coach. Certain risk, certain teams will not take. But they know that, oh, it's Ole. It's Ole. You know what Courtney said to me? The, the, the only time Manchester United plays football or win games, it has nothing to do with Ole. It no, bro. Freestyle FC. Freestyle FC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. It's, it's just that the players yeah. like, decide that, okay, you know what? Let's just play some football today. Ah, right, yeah, you know, we're in a mood. Let's go and play some football today. It has nothing to do with Ole. Oh, but we're still man. keeping Ole. Let me tell you how I know that. Ole is one of our best striker ever. And I'll never bash him for that because as a player, he was a very good player. Mm -hmm. Now listen, I'm looking at the game tonight. Ole is a striker. He was a mm -hmm. striker. Mm -hmm. Scored a lot of goals in the 18 yard box, right? Now, mm -hmm. who are you coaching a football side? And every time your midfielder pick the football up and look up for a player in that box. They are coming There's short no for the football. They are coming short for the football. All the strikers are coming short for the football. So even if we get the ball down the wings, guess what's going to happen now? There's no one there. That's the reason why Cavani is so important to us. Right exactly. Now, the biggest blow was Cavani. Yep.
The biggest blow was Cavani. Because guess what? Cavani is a striker who play forward. We have other strikers who want to be Ronaldo. And I'm not talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm talking about that guy from Brazil uh, who go behind the, the offline and run across, and run by six, seven, eight players. Yeah, yeah. That's what they want to do and they're not that good. You know the next thing to Garvey? We needed Fred tonight. And from Fred get that yellow card in the first game, you should take Fred off for this game tonight. Hey. Remember I know? Fred was still on the pitch when it was 2 1. Take him off. Simple. Take him off. You're in a losing position. Take him off. Save him for tonight's game. Keep him on and get a yellow card. Play him. I have been marked money. Listen. Gabby, I'm so pissed, man. I don't even want to go work tomorrow. Honestly. Bro, <laughs> they'll fire me. <laughs> they will get rid of me. Bro, I'm looking at Gabby, Listen, man. Only going to source care about two games to get one point. Bro, no. Hold on. Uh, mm -hmm. listen, you see, he won PSG first. He won Red Bull. Or no, it was mm -hmm. PSG first. It was PSG first. Yeah, PSG first. Then yeah. rid of Red Bull. And I'm like, wow. No. Cut this. Cut this. All we had to do was to concentrate, stay focused, mm -hmm. go play against that Turkey side, right? Win that game, get a draw, get something out of that game. No, it's a draw. Knowing that when you come back to Old Trafford, a victory at Old Trafford will guarantee you going through. Mm -hmm. No, they went to that game looking like, man, like, not scrimmage, bro. Not Barcelona is in its prime. Think they are Barcelona in its prime. Curl up, man, I'm, I'm so annoyed. Honestly, I'm so annoyed. Sometimes I wonder why. I sit and I watch these games, knowing exactly what is coming. Listen, we have been doing this all season, bro. We have been doing this all season where we can't see how many goals and then we try to come back and we win. Hey, guess what? We are winning. We are winning. We are coming from there and winning. Now, listen, if that is the case, how many games are we going to win? Can we win every game coming from behind? You want to hear the worst thing? You want to hear the worst thing? I'm going to say something. I'm going to say two things to you, God, right? We better try our best and score two first Sunday coming. Because if we fall behind, there's no coming back. I'm telling you that from now. And the next thing, Garvey, yeah? I'm not saying it's, it's his fault, but I think we need to give the hair a break. Well, we need to give the hair a break. To be honest with you, to be honest with you, um, he could get a break. In all honesty, he could. He could. Yeah, man, he needs to get a break, man. It's like... Ah, boy. Now, listen, Carla, um, I'm going to be mm -hmm. honest. He was having probably one of the best season up until I don't remember which game. I, can, I think it was against Southampton when they scored the free game. And he got hit. Even with the six nil, even with the six one that we got from Tottenham, there was no goal there. We could say it was deliberately his fault, right? Mm -hmm. so doing really bad. So he was doing really well. But no, listen. Remember last year, we had we were like third as it relates to goal conceded in the league, right? I think we're behind. Yeah. Um, we were behind Liverpool. Liverpool, yeah. We were behind Liverpool, yeah. I don't remember who, but we were third as it relates to goal concede. Now look at this. We have a base working with. We have a base working with, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we have a coach now who understands nothing about football. I don't care what anyone wants to say. He understands nothing about football. Guess what? That feel good factor is now gone. That feel good factor is now gone. Now is the time to coach players. And after that feel good factor, people will now see that you can't do it. I, I, I don't remember what the um is a journalist said today. He said up until I read it. Oh man, what's his name? I remember what his name is. This Italian journalist. He said that guess what? Pogba was trying his best. To stay at Manchester mm -hmm. United. He was happy. Right? He was happy leading up to this. And then guess what? Mm -hmm. Well, I decided that guess what? Pogba was not good enough to play for Manchester United, but Scott McTominay was. <laughs> Scott McTominay was. Uh... Bro, listen. Last, it was the other night, I hear Coach Ronald say something that I remember a midfield that consists of Joe. Remember Joe? 
Yes, we we'll never try Joe Peckham. Arvil Smallin, right? Mm -hmm. Joe or Arvil Smallin. What else were playing in the middle? I think Tuba. Tuba, yeah, Tuba. I, I can't remember those three. I remember Tuba. I, I, I think Jama played right side of midfield. Jama. Yeah. All right. But as it relates to center midfield, it was Tuba. I think Arvil Smallin, center midfield. Scott mm -hmm. Tomini, who is playing English Premier League, getting 100 plus thousand a week, is not as good as any of them. And I'm not playing. I'm serious. And I will challenge anybody, anybody who knows anything about football to tell me how is Scott McTonomy better than a Joe, a Arville Smalling, a, a Tuba. I, I would want to know. Garvey, let me say to you, I'm going to tell you something. The only thing Scott McTonomy have over these guys is fitness. That's it. Fitness. Nothing else. This is Manchester United. This is Manchester United. It's supposed to be the biggest club in the world. But guess what? Scott, no. with Scott McTominay. Listen, bro. Listen. I was coming in from work. Honestly, mm -hmm. I was coming from work. Before the game, I got here like half an hour before the game. But you're like half an hour before the game. And while I was on my way here, I was thinking, you know what? Something like this is going to happen. And we are going to the Europa League. And we are going to the Europa League because I knew because of the situation with Riola and whatever Pogba, he was not going to play Pogba when Pogba had his probably his best half of football for the entire season. Mm -hmm. Going a screamer, so guess what? His confidence was extremely high. This guy was pumped up, right? You could see when he came on just now, he was also pumped up to play. He wanted to prove a point. He wanted to say, "Hey, guess what? I am not distracted." Mm -hmm. I'm not distracted. I don't care what that dumb, what's his name? Riola. Riola. Who wants to make some money? Who wants to make another 30 million, as you told me before? Who wants to make another mm -hmm. 30 million? All right? Go into the, into the media houses to say whatever I wanted to say. No. He wasn't distracted. But guess what? Ole, as a coach, bro, he's just not. As a what? No, you need to, you need to chill. Yeah, Ole. Yes. I, just only as a former player, just say that. Only as a coach, player, player. that's what he was there for to just boost the players, whatever morale, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that has passed, bro. It's time to coach, and players are seen through him. Players are seen through him, and you have good coaches out there. Listen, the situation is toxic, Carla. I was saying to myself that something must be wrong with the organization, not the team. The organization itself in, its, in, in its entirety. Something must be wrong because, listen, look at a Moreno. Moreno left Manchester United. He was fired from Manchester United. He's now at Tottenham doing what is it he wants to do. And guess what? Uh -huh. Tottenham is now being mentioned as a title challenger. Of course. Title and listen, challenger. not just that, he didn't, he, he didn't even buy anyone. Bro, listen, man. I listen Sherwood saying that, guess what? Any day, the game before we played Tottenham, when Tottenham yeah. gave us 6 1, he said yeah. he would take this Manchester United side. Ahead of Tottenham. Mm -hmm. Would. But guess what? Curl up something must be wrong with the organization because I don't know. I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I if I, I don't know if it's Edward Word, I don't know if it's the Glazers, I don't know if it's just the the coaching staff, it's the players, but something something is wrong there, bro. Something is wrong. Because every player go there, right? They leave to go elsewhere to do well. Look at Lukaku. When Lukaku could mm -hmm. not control a football, Lukaku was like a wall, bro. It's not like a tennis ball going on a tennis racket, bro. As you touch it, it goes 200 miles away from him. Right? Look at Di Maria. Di Maria came and he played one season. Look at, um, what's his name? Sanchez. Sanchez came for 10 years and scored three goals. I know he's at, um, what's his name? Inter Milan. Inter Milan, racking up the, 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 the assists and the goals. Ashley Young, at one point, in the, uh, oh boy, Ashley Young was a total mess, but now he's at Inter Milan, doing super well. So what is it about Manchester United? Herrera, 
was at Manchester United. Look at that now. Iria was one of the only players I can remember Van Hal had brought in, right? That was doing mm -hmm. well. What did we do with Iria? We got rid of him. Fine. Who did, we use, who did we use to replace Iria? Scott Maxa, Scott Mack, whatever, man. Scott. Whatever. And you, you, you want to hear the worst thing about here? The other, the other night when we, were, when we were getting our chances and, and um, the PSG coach realized it, the first thing I did put on here and I know from here I came on all our chances. That's it. That's it. Why, why we get, we get rid of him for Scott money. Why, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't want to say why can't you have a sense in the coach because we, we had Moreno before that we had um, what's his name? Louis Van Hal. What did they do? No, but, but let me say something to you, Garvey, yeah? When, when Josie was there, yeah? Josie need men. It's just that that year, Man City was as brilliant because we had men. And then after that, it's just pure kids. Josie Mourinho doesn't want kids at his football club. He wants men who's yeah. going to tackle. Girl, I remember we had this discussion. Remember we had this discussion a while ago? I think it was yeah. like Jose Mourinho is going to use some of these same players because remember, he wanted that centre back Van der Villa, whatever they call him. He wanted. Yep. Remember, he wanted Mora at Manchester United. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. He wanted at Manchester United where they were. They were at Tottenham now. Mm -hmm. Harry Kane. Right? He wanted Harry Kane. Exactly. These players, they are at Tottenham. Mm -hmm. Those were the players that he wanted. You have them. They are there. I know. He's on top of the table, bro. On top of the table. Um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer wanted certain players and he didn't get them. And then he's going to go on the media and say, oh, he's happy. Can you believe that? He's happy. Yeah, then if you're happy, you shouldn't go and ask for the players then. Bro. If you're happy. And then go on the media today, yesterday, and say that, oh, RB Limestick or whatever name is, is running scared of us. Because they know of our, you know, away performance is good. I'm like, and you go on the media and say that. Of course, you're gonna give them a chance to have an idea or a plan how to counter or um, counter attack that. And okay. yet still, hmm? yeah. you, you, have you ever hear club or Pep or any other manager? But respect for their opponent. Exactly, exactly. And they don't go on TV and, and give away the tactics. Bro, listen. Only man. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But. He's stupid. I remember a friend of mine, right, Colonel? A friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Call him Gunpoint. No. Very good player. At, in his time, was a very good striker, very good midfielder. But when I got there playing, he was a defender, mainly a defender. He told me of a player once, right? Mm -hmm. He went to the player and he was saying, like, you're not good. Player is not doing anything. He's playing against the player and he's going mm -hmm. there. Moting the player, moting the player. And the player decided, hey, guess what? Okay. That is all you want it? I'm going to go at you. Whatever tackle he threw up, he ran right through it. Whatever tackle he threw up, the player ran right through it. So guess what? The player dominated. They learned one thing and he told me about it. When they are talking, when you see them, leave them. You just go out and you play. You go out and you play and you beat them. You don't go around aggravating somebody to get mm -hmm. to motivate them. So the players were motivated. They came out motivated. They came up with a game plan. We had none. We played Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, what did Luke Shaw do? Luke Shaw was absent for the last month. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in football. Luke Shaw was absent for the last month. A player who was a player that was assisting. We are now down. Two nil and we need goals. Our best wing back, our best attacking wing back, left or right, we took him off to leave an unfit Luke Shaw on the field. <laughs> unfit. Ten minutes later, we took Luke Shaw to put Brandon Williams on. You know what? The entire left side now. Mm -hmm. The entire left side is finished. The entire left side is finished. Now, all those no, no, no. crosses that we would get in, right? All those mm -hmm. crosses that we would get in. I remember after Telus came off, I, I remember Luke Shaw getting a ball above half line. You know what Luke Shaw did? Luke Shaw dribbled inside. 
he went inside. Tell us would normally go down the line and whip it across. Look, right, in. inside, bro, inside. You close the inside space, you close the space. You're not defending, you defend inside. And when you're going to attack, you go wide and get the ball across. What he did, he went inside and he killed the play. Who can I blame for that? Luke Shaw? No. Nope. He's unfit, bro. He's not fit. So guess what? That up and down and up and down, down the left side, he's not going to do it because he's unfit. Mm -hmm. so he's to go inside just to knock it off, roll it off to other players. Tellers would go down, even the first half, bro. Tellers was whipping them across, whipping them across, whipping them across. And not just that, you know, Garvey. Oh, man. Luke Shaw coming in. And we're not defending properly. Why are you attacking? You don't need to attack. You do not need to attack. That's what I said to you, Garvey. And, and I can't understand why Ole Gunnar Solskjaer never go for the ball players who can keep the ball and pass the ball. Because if we can keep... Listen up. I remember when Spain went to... Is it some final against Italy? No striker. Four defenders and six midfielders. I think it was against Italy. And gave them 4-0. That's what we needed tonight. Yeah? Rashford alone could play up front. Let us keep the ball between Bruno and... Because I know that Rashford is going to make one run. And I know Bruno is going to find him. And somebody else is going to find him. Nah. We went with Maxos and, and, and Matic. Matic who even haven't played in a long while, but he played good. I ain't going to tell you no lie. He played brilliant. Matic, because he was the only one taking up the ball and going at... Well. And we take him off. Bruno's and leave Matic. giving away the football. Matic had it and he was not giving it away. Yeah. Took him off. You take Why? him off. Because, because, because Scott McTominay can run, 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 oh. run. We don't need runners, bro. They are going to be defending. They are going to be defending. We needed two goals. We needed our best players on the field. Mm -hmm. We needed our best players yeah. on the field. Yeah, yeah, Van der Beek, Mata, Pogba, our creative players on the, on, on the bench. And you're playing, and you're playing Mata money. And then you'll take off your, your left winger who is scoring the ball and leave an unfit one on the field to sub him five minutes after. Genius. Hey, <laughs> genius, bro, Einstein. Genius. Aristotle, Plato. Hmm? That's, that's what we want. That's what we want at Manu. And then, and then he's talking about, um, he can see the evolution of Man United. I was wondering which evolution that he's talking about. The, 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 the Mitsubishi evolution. <laughs> <laughs> this is the evolution. Hey. Oh my god, the Japanese man. <laughs> oh, yeah, <buddy. laughs> yeah, man, must must be. Must be. But them stop making evolution now, Garvey. So, you know, probably that's what we need to do. Fire, Garvey, listen, there's nothing wrong with firing Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. There's nothing wrong with it. No, it's, it's you fire Van Gaal, you yeah. fire Jose, right. you fire Giggs. Right, eh? yeah. Yes, see you tomorrow. My brother meant it, why? Yeah? You fire Van Gaal, you fire Jose, you fire Giggs, you fire David Moyes. Right? There's nothing wrong with firing Ole. And of all yeah, the coaches, it, of all the coaches, Ole is the worst one. Exactly. I'm going to be honest. The only thing I can give him credit for Garvey, right? Is, get, is getting rid of all who never want to be there. Exactly. So go be the director, bro. Get rid of exactly. The people, man. Go be the director. Kudos to you. Go be the director. Go around. Score. Get players, man. Go be the director. But the coaching, leave the coaching for a coach, bro. Get a pochettino. That's what I'm trying to say, man. I'm... I'm I want to hear what his interview is going to be. All oh, the boys went out and they tried. They gave it everything. What? You know, hey, it's, all of this is coming back to me. I was, I was on my way in and I was saying to myself, when last Man United played a game where they lost the game, but when they came off the field, they could have said, hey, man, they left it all out there. They mm -hmm. have, but they lost. I can't remember that, bro. Every game that they lost. We couldn't, we, 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 we can say they did not do that, they did not do that. We can't say, man, they gave it their best. The other team was just too good. I remember Barcelona beating us 
Um, I think it was two one three one. I think it was two or eight. Which one? Like that. Wembley, Wembley yeah. or Rome? Wembley. Wembley. Three Rome. one. Three one. All I could say is that we just could not compete. Yep. I did throw my hand up. But right now in football, regardless of what anybody wants to say, there is no team as dominant as that in world football right now. People are making reference to a, a, a what you call him, to a Bayern Munich. No way. Mm -hmm. Nah. No way. That's the best team I've ever seen play football, man. As much as I'm a Brazilian, I love Brazil. That's the best team I've ever seen. You know what? Like, apart from the Spain team that won the UEFA Cup, the Royal Cup. Can I ask that question? What was the score with Real Madrid game? Today, I don't even know. Wait, let me check and tell you. But on a serious note, though, Garvey, mm -hmm. Ole has to go, man. Ole is no good, bro. No good. No good. And the fun, this, this is what I can't take, man. He's going to come out and be like, oh, the boys tried this, their best. The boys tried their best. Oh, did Real, Real Madrid venture? Oh, hold on. Let, let, me, let me find the live score. Have, have you seen the PSG game? No, yeah, the, 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 the whole racism stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me check. Come on, football. I think it is, man. I have this up on my phone that I use. Where were they playing again? Home or away? Um, they were... I'm not sure. You sure it's today or tomorrow? Today's what? Tuesday. Tuesday. Maybe they didn't play tonight. No, it's... No, 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 they didn't play. No, they didn't play. They're going to play tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh. Next thing, so Ronaldo scored two tonight. If we want to swap him for Pogba, probably that's what we need to do as well. No, bro, our midfield can suffice. You know what we don't have? We don't have that killer. We don't have that killer, bro. Because I'm saying, look at this, which makes absolutely no sense to me. We are looking for a goal, and all our strikers, they are coming back for the football outside of the 18 yard box. Which makes absolutely no sense. What it means that you need to get the football, dribble past five, six man to kick a shot because they are so compact. And you're going to kick a shot from outside your 18 yard box. Come on. Go inside, man. Get a touch, get a nod, get something. Look at the own goal that was scored, almost scored by, um, by the boy in the last two minutes. What happened is that? Mm -hmm. It's lit. We need to have persons challenging that. And there was no one there? There was no one, apart from Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire. Yeah, and it's when the situation got desperate, Harry Maguire went up. Harry Maguire. Well, I, I don't this, is what I'm, this is what I can't understand, Garvey. Why do we have to play so slow? Because of the players, yeah. Harry Maguire is one of the biggest culprits as it relates to us playing slow. Because no, of the Garvey, players. like I said to you, Garvey, I don't think it's the players. It's the coach. Because if, if you know that the player plays slow, what are you going to do? Continue to allow him to play slow. Do you realize how PSG, how, how leap speaker, or whatever his side name, Red Bull, how fast they were moving the yeah. football? Of course. At one time I hear the, 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 the commentator say we can't contain them. Oh. That's what I'm trying to say to you, Gavi. That's coaching. That's oh. coaching, Gavi. Even when the guys are tired. Yeah? What they do? And they get the ball and they realize they can't play one, two again. They start kicking it long, have a rest. Kicking I it long, have a rest. We wouldn't. Huh? But if we were winning like that, we would have the ball at the back, playing it between Maguire and Lindelof, and getting trapped. I'm sick of it now. But, but Garvin, you're the bad thing about it, right? Even if we decide to play it from the back, because Maguire and Matic is so deep. You know the next thing again, Garvin, we don't have any players that can protect the ball and hold the ball up. Our player that can protect the ball and hold the ball up, all they have him on the bench. Van der Beek, Pogba, I'm playing McTominay. You ever see McTominay push off two men off a ball and hold the ball up and make a pass? Pass it, go around the corner, receive it back again, hold it to push off, guys. No. Let me see. I, I saw, um, I saw um, what's her name? RB, one of the midfielder, one of the midfield player, pick up the ball today, run past Rashford, come to our middle, and Scott Maxwell was running beside him. Running beside him. 
is when you reach near to the 18 yard box. Listen, listen how poor Max House is, right? The guy picked up the ball and coming towards, going towards the throw line. Harry Maguire stepped out to tackle him. Max House come and run beside the guy. Harry Maguire to tackle the guy and get a yellow card. And Max House is right there. That's his job. I think that was Clivert, right? Eh? I think it was Clivert. When, when Harry got the red card, when he got the yellow card. Yellow card, yes. I, think I don't remember if it was Clivert. Yeah? But Harry Maguire to step from out of the defensive position, come in towards the midfield that was leading towards the touchline. To tackle the guy. That's Mark Tamani's job. But Mark Tamani running beside the guy. Bro, honestly. Why? Honestly. Like I said to you, Garvey, it's like there's no coaching to be like, yo, listen, Maguire. Stay there. Don't come out there. Don't let no defender, don't let no striker drag you out of your position. No. Because if they drag you out of your position, you're gonna leave Lindelof on his own. Let the midfielders come and do their job. Remember Maguire is almost like a a a a a uh, what do you call it bro? Donkey cart bro. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to say to you Garvey. He's I'm slow. Sure. Yes, we know that. Maguire's slow, right? Maguire's slow. Lindelof, you easily push him off the ball, right? Basaka can tackle, but he can't pass the ball, right? We hey. all know how a left back is. Hold on Garvey, hold on. Just a minute. Don't forget the point. I just what? want to remember this. Did you see that back heel that he tried? Basaka, you mean the time? That, 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 <laughs> what did he let to the goal on the corner? Yeah, I saw it! I saw it and Luke Shaw was cursing him. That's what I'm trying to say to you, Garvey. What we need is coach. Oh, man. Your back turned to, your back turned to the touchline, right? You don't have a pass, you don't want to kick it long. Simple football. Put it for a throw and you regroup. Simple football. You put it for a throw and you regroup. You remember Mr. Brown? That's if simple. Yes, I remember. Basic yep. Football. Simple, basic football. Get rid of the ball, bro. Get it outside and regroup. Easily. Kick it outside and regroup, Garvey. What are you trying to back heel? First of all, when you're back heel, like, you're back turn to goal. You do not know what's going to happen behind. Yet, yeah, you have to turn to try and catch up the man. As quick as you are. You're not quicker than the chance. football. They got a chance. If it was not for Luke Shaw, they got a chance. Yeah. And Luke and Luke Shaw was causing one Basaka. Yeah. Listen, one Basaka can't beat a man for to save his daylight. And as soon as they get the ball and they crowd him up, he panics. He panics and just kick it long. Like I said, Garvey, it's like we don't have any. We we need a coach to be like, all right, there, listen. We know that you're. In, we know what your weakness is, right? Let's work on it. Let's work on it and let it be a strength. Listen, Garvey. Right. We're close on Bruno, Bruno Fernandes today. We look lost. Wait, wait, hmm? wait. Who's gonna work on that? Hmm? Ole? Ole? No, that's what I'm saying. We need a coach. You get me? We need a coach to work on that. But Ole is not a coach, so he's not gonna know that. I am not a coach, Garvey, and I know that. Maguire, you're slow. So what we're going to do, we're going to find something to help you with your slowness. Or we're going to think of a plan to protect you with your slowness. Exactly, to protect you. Or protect against you. Exactly. Say again. You don't get turned and chased in your goal. Because once he starts to chase, man, he's like, I'm, I'm bro, listen, I am big and I'm fat, bro. And trust me, if I'm running with our Maguire, there's no way. Garvey, no way. Curl like it up, curl like it up a bad knee. I'm going to walk you, Maguire. Alright, Maguire, bro. Listen, man. Um, this is just a waste of waste of my effort. Sometimes, as a Manchester United supporter, as a Manchester United fan, I'm so annoyed, bro. Really, I'm so annoyed. Really annoyed by this. Garvey, one thing I know. My brother tell me this. He said, Eric, you cannot sack twelve players. You can't. You go and sack the coach and you get better result. Easily. Because Garvey, listen, I don't think there's nothing wrong with the Man United players or the Man United squad. Yeah? But they need someone who's got ideas, who can change things. The mental energy needs to change, bro. The mental... Right, let me tell you something. Look at this, right? Just look at how they play after... in the second half of games when they are losing. It mm -hmm. shows that they can play. You have players who can play, but why not yeah. show for a full 90 minutes? Why do you need to wait until the first 45 minutes has passed when you are done? Down two or three goals to nil, whatever, you come back in the second half and you play wonderful football. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, what, 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 what's, it, what's behind that? What is behind But what do you think though, Gavi? I'm a slim Muslim. What do you think? Let me tell you what happened. Football, bro, football is more, it has a lot to do with psychology. 
it has a lot to do with your head. These players are talented. They're very yeah. talented. So it's not about talent. It's not about their ability to play football. It's about their mentality. Right? Their mentality. What mentality you have going out on the pitch? Am I going out on the pitch just to play and relax and the game will come easy and as a result the goals will come? Or am I going out there to dominate? To dumb am I going out there to be a Mike Tyson to bite you in the ear like Ivan the Holyfield? To dominate. Am I a Lennox Lewis? Am I going to tear your skin off? Right? That is what we want. We want that mentality where you go when you're going, you're going out to kill. That's what you're going out to do. To kill, to win. To dominate. Mm -hmm. Right? Look at this side. This side they came in, you know what they did? Probably they don't have the ball players that we have, but what they did, right? No, they don't. Mm -hmm. they dominated us by doing what? Putting us under pressure. Tackling and us. Closing down. Right? They're high press, right? So we are now under pressure. So whenever they give us, whenever we give them the football, they have a lot of space. And they have a few ball players who are willing to move with the football move with the football, pick up the runners, and attack instantly. Not just that, Garvey. You notice when they're closing down in trees, they had to close down. When, when, when Rushford, Greenwood, when they're closing down, they jog and walk and take the time. No energy. No energy. Let me tell you what Manu is using, and this is one of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer tactics, right? The reason why we are coming back from games, Garvey, yeah? Is because other teams use 70 minutes and burn out their energy and that is when we can dominate teams we have fitness for the last 30 minutes because of, because of other team tired why can't we go there like man city and liverpool and dominate teams from start until finish so hold on why don't we go out and dominate for that first 70 minutes you get three four five goals and then we can exactly yes why can't we do that exactly yeah yeah, for our for our wage bill, which is the highest in the Premier League. Yeah, we can't go out there and dominate a team for 70 minutes. No, we can only dominate a team for 25 minutes when the other team is tired. Hmm? Ole gonna Solskjaer. Ole gonna Solskjaer. Ole gone. I know we... The, the, the honest truth about it is... I don't see us getting any better either. That's the worst thing about it. No, we're not getting any better. I know our players are leaving. Nope. So we, park, but we have a very yeah. good leaving. The honest, the honest suit about it, Garvey, yeah? I said to myself today, two games that we need a point. And I swear to you, if Ole Gunnar Solskjaer lose today, yeah? I'm, I will never watch the next Manchester United match <laughs> as long as Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is in charge. No, Garvey, man. I, I'm almost at that point now. Garvey, let me tell you a little thing, yeah? Let me tell you a little thing. I'm not, it's not because of Manchester United. I'm not used to stupid football, Garvey. I'm not used to foolish football. You know, skimmage, bro. When you were playing skimmage when we were young, bro. When we were playing skimmage, bro. When it's, man, when it's Martin versus Grantham, bro. Yes, man. Proper. That's why, the Garvey, the Premier League is nice, yes. But, Garvey, it's hard for me not to watch Madrid and Barcelona. I swear to you, Garvey. It's hard for me not to watch Man City. They're a rival. But Garvey, they play football. It's hard for me not to watch Liverpool, Garvey. I ain't going to tell them no lie. They're a, not my team. They're, they're not my team. They're United fan, but first and foremost, they're a football fan, bro. You're right. You're right, Garvey. Okay, you're right. Garvey, even though they're not my team, when I see the football on the TV, I have to sit down and watch it because Man United is not exciting me for be like, oh, yes. I have to go and watch other teams just to enjoy a good little football. I can't believe that, Garvey, because we have only got a source here. All we need is 20 million. All we need is 20 million. 20 million is some change to Manchester United. Suck only going to source here and pay him off. 20 million. Simple. That's, that would be the best transfer for, for January. Suck only going to source here. Right. Pay him off 20 million. Go and get Poch. I think I need to move him on now, though. It's hmm? Honestly, I think it's pointless. It's time for him to go. It's time for him to move on. Really and truly, it's time for him to move on. Right now, it's getting from bad to worse. Yep. I hear the commentary. No we are always two games away from a disaster. It means there's no consistency. We're not consistently bad or we're not consistently good. It means we have a team there. But guess what? It's just guidance, bro. It's like having a little son, having a little daughter, 
Mm -hmm. He or she is rude. Right? But you need to guide that little child. For her or for him to be good. That's all. Yep. So now, if you're not a good parent, bro, if you're the father, single father, you're not a good father, send the child to the mom. Let the mom grow. Mm -hmm. so no, we need to get rid of Ole, bro. We need to get somebody else, man. He's no good, bro. He, honestly, it's a disaster. If you could see where he's something. trying, if you could see yeah. where he's trying and you say, okay, he's trying and he's trying, but no, bro, he's just making mistakes out of mistakes and silly mistakes that we can see as fans. As fans, we can see it. I am not being paid one dollar to be a fan for Manchester United. Ole, He's been paid 100,000 per week, 100,000 pounds per week, just to coach these guys who are getting 300,000 pounds per week. Can you imagine, bro? You play football, you play something that you love. No, I enjoy mm -hmm. playing football, salad and pile. You remember those days, we bro? Play we play football for free, Garvey. We play football for free. You know the worst thing, Garvey? Let me say this to you. Probably, you know. Why can't Ole pick a first 11 with his best team and allow them to play 10 games straight? Even if they lose, let them have that bond. He keep on picking and switching and changing just to make players happy. Listen, you have to make some players upset sometimes. Wait. The worst thing about it is, his best players is the one who is leaving out. That's, that's the worst thing about it, you know, Garvey? Thing. But bro, listen, man. All right, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about having respect for your coach. Because he's a good coach. I'm not talking about respect him because guess what? He's a father figure now. You have respect for him because he knows it. He has done it before. A coach like a Marino, a coach like a Pep, a coach like a club. So you have that little bit of respect for him. So even though he's leaving you out, you can actually say, well, I can see why. It's for the mm -hmm. best. Right? But when, when, when Ole should leave a player out, they're actually questioning Ole because guess what? What is he doing? He knows what he know what is best for the team. Maybe not. Some question in. Two semi final and lost. Back to back. A silly you, thing. You, you. Silly thing. Silly thing. Silly, silly mm -hmm. thing. Every time Ole gets a little bit of pressure, every time Ole gets a little bit of pressure, he cracks. Right? When mm -hmm. the pressure is not severe, for example, when you go and you play against a PSG, you're expected to lose. Bro. So the pressure is not high. So you are pumped up. The players are psyched up to go and play. Right? But when you play against a, a Red Bull, where you are expected to get a point, you're expected to get a point from of six points, bro. You're expected to get at least one point to qualify for the Champions League. I know you're in Europa, wow. Europa League. One point, seriously? What about that side name? I don't even remember the side name from Turkey, bro. They would say Farmers League, bro. You went to that and you lost. If you won that game and you came back to Old Trafford and you win that game, even a point at that place, right? In, that exactly. Place, you're qualified for the for the second round. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Nothing? Seriously? The worst thing, and we're going to keep him. That's, that's the worst thing. And we're still going to keep him. Listen, man. I'm sick and tired of this. Whatever, whatever it is, man, bro. He's just trash. He is trash. He's garbage. And when I say trash, guys, don't believe that I'm saying trash because whatever, man. I'm not trying to be rude to him. And I'm talking about his coaching ability. Not him. So don't be yeah. rude to him. I'm just talking about his coaching ability. It's garbage. He's a good guy. He's a nice guy. But guess what? His ability to coach is poor. Extremely poor. And if you should do a, the top 20 leagues in the coach, the top 20 coaches in the league, in the premiership, You'd be surprised to find out that he's somewhere near the bottom, coaching the biggest team in the land. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. So I'm not blaming. You know what? I'm not blaming Oli. I'm not blaming Oli. I'm blaming those persons who keep Oli in the job. I'm blaming those persons, the Ed Woodwards, the Glazers. Those are the ones I'm blaming. I'm not blaming Oli. Because if I'm getting 100,000 a week to do nothing, I'll just do it. Why should I not do it? <laughs> You're paying me 100,000 not and but, but, but Garvey, what, hold on, hold on Garvey. You, you have to blame only because he's getting the money, yeah? He says, it's for the good of Man United. Well, that's what he says. Listen man, hold on. Let me, let me ask you a question. You have mm -hmm. been running, right? Mm -hmm. 
you're in charge of your business and you hire this guy or this girl, whoever, right? And he or she comes with this nice, nice presentation. Mm -hmm. It was all a presentation. But it is time now to crunch the figures. Your business, it is failing as a result of her. Mm -hmm. You are the person in charge of the business and you are paying mm -hmm. her a lot of money. What mm -hmm. is it you are responsible to do? You are the person responsible to get rid of what, what do you think you should do? You should get rid of her because she's actually spoiling your business. True. It's your responsibility. But, true, but, but remember you know, Garvey, yeah? The owner of Manchester United, the Americans, and their prime objective is to make money. Exactly, but are you going to make money with a team like this, bro? Good, true, but hold on. That is why they're not going to sack Ole, because Ole is going to win three matches and lose one. And the worst thing about it is going to lose the most important one. That is why they're not going to sack him. Listen, they want somebody who they can control, Garvey. They couldn't control Jose Mourinho, because Jose Mourinho is going to go in the press and be like, listen, I wanted Harry Maguire, they didn't give me Harry Maguire. I wanted so-and-so, they didn't give me so-and-so. No, hold on. Ole going to so scare his ear and be like, I wanted... That guy from Borussia Dortmund, what is his name? Sancho. They didn't give me Sancho. And then he's gonna go on national television and be like, uh, we have to be patient. You know, we're working hard. Kiss me. That's what that's what that's what Ed Woodward want. Somebody would be like, oh, go on out your puppet. Puppet, go on out there and tell them that. Them <laughs> other managers kick up a fuss. That is why they're not gonna suck all and we the fans have to pay for it pay for it in stress yeah the move in chicago when they have little things in there and having them dancing around with the puppets yeah mm -hmm. chicago. that's what all is man yeah man chicago have them dancing around on the strings bro crap one garbage bro. sorry sorry <coughs> you know what only makes what what make what make what only things is a world's Good manager is up there. The third he came, first thing he, he did it his way. That's his speech. Oh yeah, he did it his, his way. way. Did it. What song was that? I did it my way. Which song was that? That's what you want to say. It was a song. A truth. A truth. No, but why, Garvey? Listen, Garvey. Listen. Me too upset. Me too upset. I'm upset oh, with Oli. This is what me try to say, Garvey. Me can't upset with the players because me can't say the players them a try. Garvey, all we need is a nudge of coaching, Garvey, and we would have got over the line today. All we needed was a nudge of coaching, and we would not be in this position today, Garvey. That's what I'm trying to say to you. That is why I can't blame no player. I can never blame Fred last week. I can never blame Fred. Fred yeah, because number one. Fred is at the first. Fred, 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 he has to make a tackle. But he must tackle, bro. He That's has to make a tackle. tackle. At least he's tackling. That's what he's doing. That's what, huh? he's there for. That's what he's there for. He's there to tackle. Exactly. Mark Thomas on the pitch. And he did not make... He didn't even get a yellow card. And Fred is beside him. Making all the tackles and get two yellow cards. That is why... Don't get me wrong. Fred made a blunder. But at least he was yeah. trying to recover. Yeah? yeah? yeah. Yes, he but, ah, but don't give him that option. Take that option away from him, bro. You don't leave him with that option. Take that option away from him. You don't have him... Take that option... Exactly. You're right. And the only person who could do that was the coach. Exactly. You leave him on so you trust him. You know, this, this, so you know what the next thing I can't take? Yeah? You have Gary Neville and Jamie Corrigan, Rio Ferdinand and Paul Skulls and Former players. All of them on TV. Yes, former players. Yeah? Behind Oli and telling the, and, and cursing the players. So that's what makes Oli feel like, oh yes, well, I'm doing something because I have them in my corner and they're on the television, they're in the media. So I can have them to stand up for me. So they're not going to give me the blame. Oh, no, Gavi. Mm -mm. The honest truth about it, Gavi. I never ever imagined the day I would sit down. And be angry about Manchester United, Manchester United losing a match to a bow team. 
If we lose to Barcelona, Real Madrid, Juventus and them teams there, fine. If we lose to a team in the Premier League, Man City, Liverpool and them teams, fine. Yeah, this team is a team from nowhere, Garvey. It's not Bayern Munich and it's not Borussia Dortmund. I don't care how good you're playing, Garvey. Yeah, just come team. I'm afraid you'll never ever find this team beating Manchester United. You man! 2009. Yeah. 2009. And nine. Listen to me. What? That's, that's when they get promotion? When they were founded. <laughs> oh gosh. You see us? Come back in. You're right. 20, 20, 20, 20 Premier League. 20, listen, Red, 20. Bull. <laughs> Red Bull. Listen, Red Bull. Red yes. Red Bull. Yeah, we get you. We get you now. I get you now. Oh nine, 9 bro. Oh nine. 9 <laughs> When they were founded, it... Um, my United were... I think my United were Champions League winners are ch defending Champions League. Yeah. Like, 8 or oh 9 that we won the Champions League, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh eight, oh nine, uh, or oh, it doesn't make a difference. Because I think we win it and went back to the final again. And we lost. We were not the only team who went back to back final. Hmm? We were not the only team who went back to back final because we were thinking that we could defend it, but Barcelona won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were not in the mood. Besides Madrid. I think I think Liverpool done it as well, not too sure. Back to back final? Yeah. And they won it. Yeah, I think they went to the final against Real Madrid. At that time, I think we were the only team. They were, well, okay. they were the only team to win the back to back final, but I, we were the only team at the time who would have defended it. But no. Okay, yeah, yeah. And yeah, true, true. Here true. comes Real Madrid, bro. Back to back to back to back. Yep. Man. What, Garvey? It's just, it's just like we just can't wait to hear what Oli has to say, man. I don't want to hear, bro. I'm not kidding. I don't yeah. want to hear. Listen, I do not want to hear. Normally, at this time, I'll be checking the news. I'll be mm. checking the stats. I want to hear what the coaches are saying. I want to hear what the players are saying. I want to hear what the, the fans are saying. Right now, I don't want to hear anything. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to my bed. I'm going to sleep. I am going to sleep and I'm going to work in the morning. Bro. I am just sick and tired of Manchester United. I'm not lying. Man. I, I'm upset. I'm not serious, Curla. I am upset. Bro, if you are defeated by a team, quality team, fine. But when we, who can we have the good players on the bench, sitting down on the bench, and we want to win? Luke Shaw, listen, of all the things, Luke Shaw was the one that affected me the most, bro. You went and you get Luke Shaw, who has not played for a month. Mm -hmm. Started in probably the most important game of the season for us thus far. Half time, you pull Tellers. And left Luke Shaw on the field. And 10 minutes later, Luke Shaw was off because he was unfit. No, tell me. That is schoolboy, bro. Not even schoolboy. No, bro. Not, no school not even schoolboy. Garvey, not even schoolboy, man. Oh, man. No schoolboy. Not even schoolboy. No school and you know the worst thing, Garvey? He keep on doing the same thing over and over. And he keep on saying, oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. And he I keep on making the same mistakes over and over and over. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. If you are doing something... And you're constantly doing it the same way and expecting a different result. What is it they called you? Mad man. <laughs> Only a mad person expects to be doing the same thing every single day while expecting a different result. How? You're dumb, bro. You're stupid, man. You need to be fired, bro. You need to be fired, man. I got you. Well, sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes I said to myself, why don't you just retire? Please, just resign. Just resign. If you say if you say you love Manchester United so much, please just resign. It's not going to work for you. Just resign. You're not going to win a trophy. You're not going to win nothing. You can't take Manchester United better than the third that you took them last year. And remember, the third that you took them last year, yeah? It's because Leicester got poor, the pandemic, and you're and you bringing Bruno. Well, Bruno's already here. Don't get me wrong, you probably might be doing good in the league. But, come Sunday. <laughs> you know what Do not be surprised. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Do not be surprised come Sunday. Man United 
win that game against Manchester City and mm -hmm. Ole will again be sitting pretty in that position. Trust me, do not be surprised. Chote, let me make a prediction from now, right? You ready? Right now. At the moment, we have a plus two goal difference, yeah? Yeah. This is, this is my prediction. After Sunday, I'm telling you, we're going to have a minus one or a minus two. So we're looking at a That four. is my prediction. I'm not, I'm not predicting nothing else. So we're looking we're at, gonna, at, the, at the moment, we have a plus two. After Sunday, we're going to have minus one or minus two. You know what I'm going to tell you? Go on. Honestly, this is Sunday. I might be wrong, but I'm expecting a win. Not because my United is good. Let me tell you why I'm expecting a win. Not because my United is better than Man City. But this is what we do, bro. This is what we do. We go out. The games that we're not expected to challenge for and win, we win them. Those games that we expected, look, we did not expect, we were not expected to win the PSG game, we did it. We were not expected sure. to win the Red Bull game, we did it. We were expected to win that. What? I don't know the team. I, bro, I don't even know the name of the team. I know what you're talking about. The team that, yeah. Yeah. And we, we yeah. To win. We came back. We expected to win against them. Luckily, we won. No. We expected to get something from the PSG game. Nothing. We expected to get something from this game. Nothing. We are not expected to get anything from Man United and Man, Man City game on Sunday. Or whenever it is going to be played. And we are going to get something. That is my prediction. Trust me, we are going to get something from it. This is what we do. And guess what happened? Ole will be sitting pretty again to say, hey, Ole is at the wheel. Ole is at any wheel, bro. There's no wheel, bro. There's no wheel. Hey. And, 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 and the English Premier League team play five matches and gone through. We play six and out. Not even six and gone through, you know, six and out. Bro, listen, man. Bro, I'm going to run, man, because... Yeah, man, no worries, man. Guidance, man. And, you know, what you said. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. So, Gentle people, peeps, really appreciate it. Mr. Curla Kid is here. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Guidance. Bless up and watch yourself, yeah? Exactly. So, guys, it was a pleasure again being here with you guys, expressing ourselves after this disaster. So, like, subscribe, share, and continue to do so. See you all. Bless. Yes, bro.